Reading Week 1, Wild Animals of the North by Dieter Braun. Read the text carefully. It introduces our new topic, Who Lives in the Wild? Please reread the text to answer your questions and refer to the text to give quality answers. Wild Animals of the North by Dieter Braun. Wild Animals of the North. It's hard to imagine that fantastic creatures like bald eagles or snow leopards could have evolved from the first single celled organisms that appeared on Earth around 3.5 million years ago. Today, many millions of diverse species populate our planet. Some of them are absolutely tiny, others are truly enormous. They have feathers, scales, or fur. They are one colour or many colours, with or without vertebrae, with fins, wings, antennae, or paws. In short, the richness of our wildlife is immeasurably vast. However, there are fewer and fewer species in the wild as humans intrude further into their habitats. Pollution and climate change, climate change also pose a threat to many species. The most well-known example is perhaps that of the majestic polar bear. The pack ice is literally melting away from under its pores due to global warming. Almost a third of the animals in this book are endangered and some are even threatened with extinction. Even if mankind can go on without them, a piece of our vibrantly diverse world dies along with each species. This book takes us on a journey to the farthest corners of the northern hemisphere. We will dive with great dolphins to the depths of the ocean, burrow through the undergrowth with wild boar, trot across the dry trapes with two humped camels, and climb high mountain peaks with the Marco. We'll pay the arc Arctic fox a visit in the freezing cold of Siberia. Watch the polluted woodpecker foraging for food and keep the rare Liberian lynx company in the shimmering heat of Spain. Have fun in the wilderness. We'll be looking at North America, Europe and Asia. We will look at region one, which is North America. The puma or puma concola. The light brown puma goes by many names. The silver lion, the mountain lion or the cougar. Measuring up to 1.4 meters in length, it's one of the largest big cats in North America. The further north you go, the bigger the puma will be. Scientists, however, still class as a small cat, just like its cousin, the African cheetah. It may be hard to believe, but the mountain lion is more closely related to the domestic cat than it is to the lion. Just like cats, pumas can retract their claws, are extremely agile, and can make a standing jump of up to five meters into a tree. Okay, now we're going to look at the three types of questions. Retrieve, interpret, choice. First of all, the retrieve, the R. On page three, how many years ago did, the, did creatures appear on Earth? Now this is a retrieval question, so you take it straight from the text. The words will be right in front of you. I, interpret. On page eight, why do you think the further north you go, the bigger the pumas will be? Name two different reasons and explain with a because sentence. So there'll be some clues maybe in the paper, in the text, but maybe try and just find out your reasons to why that might be the case. Think about where they might live. 
and what they might have around them. C is choice. Why do you think the author chose to use the two pictures of the puma on pages eight and nine? What do we learn about the puma? Can you please try and give a because sentence in your answer? Now share your work with the class or take a photo of your work and send it into school using Edmodo.